Bible says in Romans 10, 14, and how should they hear without a preacher? What churches, what homes, what this country needs today is red-hot preaching. I'm not talking about philosophizing. I'm talking about preaching. I'm not talking about counseling. I'm talking about preaching. I'm not talking about babysitting. I'm talking about preaching. I'm talking about the red-hot preaching of D.L. Moody, R.A. Torrey, J. Frank Norris, John R. Rice, Bob Jones, Jack Howes, and Lester Roloff. We used to go to meeting the preacher preach. We heard a Amen. We entered God's house without the world on our minds to turn for souls in sin. How wonderful it seems just to recall those good old fashioned days. Now you may not agree, and that's fine with me, but I like the old time way. I love that old time religion, for it will never change. I love that precious holy Bible, for it's always the same. The road still narrow, the way's so straight, you must be born again. Christ still lives, he still reigns, and he's coming again. Look around in many churches, and an altar can't be found. The Christians won't deal with the sinner to pray, and they say they're heaven bound. If we live more like him and pray every day, the spirit will descend. God's power will fall, God's word to be heard, and sinners will repent. I love that old time religion, for it will never change. I love that precious holy Bible, for it's always the same. The road's still narrow, the way's too straight, you must be born again. Christ still lives, he still reigns, and he's coming again. Christ still lives, he still reigns, and he's coming again.